him a short letter. The letter begins with this. The first and the most important thing that this person who has this position needs to remember is what Imam says. To address the Ash'az, inna amalaka laysa laka bitu'ma walakinnahu fi unuqika amana. Imam says that, hey, please remember, your work is not a prey for you. Meaning that don't think that you own this class. Don't think that you own this center. Don't think that you own this school. Don't think that you own the money that is available to you from the Beit uh, Mal. No, these are not yours. That means that it's a trust on your neck. Trust on your neck perhaps is an expression that, my dear, your neck is on the line for it. Be careful. And that's why a brother was appointed somewhere else, not here, somewhere else, another part of the world as a president. And he let me know that Sheikh Alhamdulillah appointed or been appointed as the president of, of this organization. I said, I don't know whether I should congratulate you or commiserate you. Because this is a huge responsibility you've taken upon yourself. Make sure that inshallah with piety, with taqwa, with tawakkul, with tawassul, inshallah, you can meet your uh, your obligation. So the first thing to check whether I'm doing it for the sake of God is to see whether I take this as an opportunity to devour, to take advantage, or I take this as a trust in my hand that always I feel that I'm between hell and heaven and make sure that I deliver the trust first. The second, don't approach the fire except I've taken, I've borrowed this expression again from the Holy Quran. Remember that in the previous session, I mentioned that the position that you have as volunteers, particularly teachers also very clearly, you are responsors of the orphans, not for orphans who you need to feed their stomach, but who you need to feed their, their souls as teachers, all right? In other words, wherever in the world that you are working in an Islamic center or in an Islamic school, you should assume that you are working in an orphanage. And any money comes to you, any facilities, the furniture, everything, these are the properties of the orphans. Quran says that If anyone in an Islamic center, in an Islamic school, or any such organizations is taking deliberately, mistakenly, taking anything that is not theirs, which belongs to the general public and is abusing it for themselves, they are taking fire to themselves. So don't be involved as a volunteer. Don't be involved as a teacher in any Islamic school, in any Islamic center, unless you know the rules of the game. I know your responsibility. For answers, وَلَا تَغْرَبُوا مَا لَلْيَتِيمْ إِلَّا بِالَّتِي أَحْسَانِ don't get near to the orphan's property except in the best pious way. Or peras bellati ahsan also means in the best pious way to improve it. Meaning that I've come to this center as a volunteer to work voluntarily to improve the aims and objectives of the center. I have accepted to teach in this school so that I can improve the educational standards of, of the community. Illa bellati ahsan. Otherwise, Allahu Akbar, may God help the person. May God help the person if there is. Therefore, be careful, be very careful. Teachers, I, I give you some examples, but the examples are many. I, I, I'm trying to be very quick, inshallah, tonight. If I am wasting the Beit mal I am not uh, taking the trust properly to myself. Inshallah, let me go further. Maybe uh, uh, in another uh, opportunity, I'll explain to you. Or... Uh, uh, I can see, I have it in, in my PowerPoint. Imam Ali alayhi salam, again, our infallible role model. Imam Ali alayhi salam, in his letter to his, uh, uh, I think this is a part of the letter of Imam to Malik Ashtar. What an amazing instruction. Look at Imam Ali's instruction to his delegates. Part of the instruction is the following. The Imam says, Addiqu uh, aqlamakum. Addiqu aqlamakum, it means sharpen your pens. In today's language, if I want to paraphrase this in today's language, it means that type with the smaller fonts. Why? So that you waste less paper to print. Okay? 
و قاربو بین سطور کم when you are also typing writing typing printing make sure you make the gap between the sentences between the lines the gap between the lines less to save more papers from Beitul Mal و هدفو عنی فضول کم امام says you are writing the letter to me I don't want you to write all the alqab, all the formalities to prolong the letter. I don't need any of these things. Because by doing so, you are wasting the pen of Beitul Mal. By doing so, you are wasting the, the a printer. You are wasting papers of a printer. You see how delicate the issue is? Tell me what you want, short and sweet. Don't waste too much of a paper. Don't, much, don't waste too much of an ink. Make sure that you avoid israf. If you don't need the aircon, don't keep it on. If you don't need the light, turn it off. If you don't need to print, don't print. Don't waste the, the paper. Don't waste the, uh, the printer and all this. There is so much you need to be careful as a teacher, as a volunteer, because you are using Beitul Mal. Beitul Mal al-Muslimin is in their hand. The Imam says, فَإِنَّ أَمْوَالَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ لَا تَحْتَمِلُ الْإِضْرَارِ you cannot afford like wasting the amwal of Muslimin, the property of the of the community. Even if I die as a shaheed, Ya Rab, inshallah, but there is nas on me, may God forgive us, may God forgive me. Still, I have to pay the nas. Even shaheed will be countable for if there is nas on their shoulder. Do you see such a delicate, such a like difficult position it is to be working in a in an Islamic center. As I told you that, that doesn't mean that we should just uh, resign and not to work, but you need to learn the duties. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. The third and the last one, a very controversial one, because kind of there is a presentation tonight, a very humble presentation. I had to bring this to your uh, kind attention to clarify it. Volunteer payments, is this right or wrong? Am I allowed to be uh, paid or am I allowed to take anything if they are gift, giving me a gift uh, uh, or uh, as a gift, as a volunteer speaker, as a volunteer? Alhamdulillah, this doesn't happen to me. I don't need to worry about this. I'm making it hypothetical. But uh, anyway, uh, am I allowed to take it? Because sometimes some volunteers so innocently they feel bad about it. Remember that without the volunteers, let's make it very clear for the sake of everyone. Volunteers don't hear this part of it. It's not your interest to hear it. But the rest of the community, they need to hear it. And alhamdulillah, I'm sure that they are aware of it. Without the sacrifice of the volunteers that I bear witness, Ya Rab, I've, not, I've seen them sometimes until after midnight, one or two o'clock, still they are scrubbing the floor, mopping the floor, cleaning the toilets, you know, packing things, putting everything back, or how early they come to prepare for a function. Do you know, imagine that if we wanted to have this Ramadan only, the program that you had during the months of Ramadan, if it was a corporate company and you wanted to pay award wages to the volunteers for what they are doing, do you know how much it would cost? Alhamdulillah. So without the sacrifice, great sacrifice of these volunteers, and Wallah al-Azim, I'm responsible for what I say. I really envy, what's the word to a better word? Yani, غبته, hani lakum, hani lakum, hani lakum. You are doing it under the vision of Imam Zaman, Ajalallah, Faraj al-Sharif, in this Bayt al -Fasain. You are teaching teachers before the program, or those who are, everything. There is so much involved for one one-hour program to be presented and delivered. So there is no doubt that these people, they are doing a great job. Now, does community have any responsibility towards them? And if they like, give them any gift, there's no payment, alhamdulillah. But if they give them a, a, a gesture of appreciation, are they allowed to take it or they're not allowed to take it? Especially when it comes to fiscal things and, and stuff like that. In Surah Al-Nisa, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has answered the question. Remember, I told you, imagine you're working in an orphanage. It cannot be worse than, and more difficult than working in an orphanage. Those who are working in an orphanage, are they allowed to take wages or not? Even wages, not a gift. Gift, no one has the right to refuse it. But it's a wages. They tell me that, Sheikh so this is your wages. Am I allowed to take it? I'm working in an orphanage. 
Monday to Friday, I don't know, working hours or things like that. Quran says, وَمَنِ كَانَ غَنِيًّا فَلْيَسْتَعْفِفْ وَمَنِ كَانَ فَقِيرًا فَلْيَأْكُلْ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ Man kana ghaniyan, that means that if you are not in need of this money, Alhamdulillah, you are well off, you are okay, you, your financial uh, expenses are covered, you are not really in need of this money. فَلْيَسْتَعْفِفْ be, be modest and don't take it. Women kana fagira. There are people in the community that really, if they are not paid, they cannot survive. Look, I've got expenses, I've got family, and I'm, if I if I'm not compensated financially, I'm doing it for the sake of God. There's no doubt that's between me and God. But really, if you don't give me anything, I won't have time to come. I'm sorry. I have to go and work somewhere else to pay my bills, to pay my rent, to pay. If I'm in that position, that situation, absolutely fine. Quran clearly says, "Woman kana fakiran, but falyakul bil maaruf." Let him have. There's no problem, but in a reasonable manner, obviously, without any any israf. There are, of course, other ways to appreciate the the volunteers. Two of them I quickly have mentioned. One is to pay them through this recognition. That means share a nice word with them, respectfully members of the community. If you see any mistake, if you see any flaw somewhere, this volunteer has been there before you perhaps wake up and will be here until after you fall asleep working this so much work. Don't just come and rub it to their face. What is this? What, why, the, why didn't you start on time? What was the class like this? No, gentle, nice, pray for them, sweet words. You know, it means a world if you are telling a, a volunteer, a, a teacher or someone, brother, sister, jazakallah khaira, may God reward you. You are in my humble dua. That, that is a great payment for them. You know, they are not, as I told you, that they, are, should, they should not expect, but we have an obligation. And the second thing is that for the volunteers, whether teachers or other volunteers, encourage, accept, and appreciate their inputs. It is not my center to say that, look, I'm the director of this company, none of your business, you are only a worker here, and when I don't need you, goodbye. No, ask them, because they are more involved than anyone else at the center. Ask their input, ask their suggestions, and take it on board as much as possible. That's how we can, inshallah, improve ourselves and hope that we are doing it for the sake of God, wherever that you are sitting, please turn the, the compass of your heart towards Medina al Munawwara, Jannat al stand towards the Holy Shrine, four uh, graves of four Imams of the Imams of Ahlul Bayt al Musalam, and on their breast, you can repeat this dua with me as well. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum ya khuzana ilmillah, wa hafadaka sirri, wa tarajimata wahyeh. أتيتكم يا بني رسول الله عارفا بحقكم مستبصرا بشأنكم معاديا لأعدائكم مواليا لأوليائكم بأبي أنتم وأمي صلى الله على أرواحكم وأبدانكم وإلى أرواح المؤمنين والمؤمنات والشهداء والصالحين صلوات على محمد وآل محمد Sheikh and I thank you very much for, uh, for that wonderful in, uh, insight and the part two of, um, of, uh, of, of the volunteers, volunteers uh, program, program um, and, and, the and the conditions of volunteering, of volunteering and, and whatnot. Sheikh, Sheikh, I hope you will, will stay with us for uh, at least part of the presentation, or if, you, if possible, could you at least introduce the presentation for us for some of the volunteers, please? If Sheikh is still there, maybe Sheikh. Can you put me on the spot? Yeah, I have to put you on the spot, Sheikh. It's not a program unless we put you on the spot. All right, inshallah, there's a presentation for the volunteers. As I said, it's a 
a gesture of appreciation to the teachers and to the volunteers. Uh, Haji Ali, do you want to start with the teachers or the volunteers, or all volunteers? Haji Abed, are you ready with the... Uh... Okay. Okay, so inshallah, Sheikh, we'll start with, uh, with, the, um, with the volunteers, with the general volunteers of AHIG. Um, a lot of them have actually mentioned uh, somehow they caught wind of what we, what we were planning, and um, they've many have mentioned that they would rather not um, come up to receive a um, a, pri uh, a a gift from the center. Um, but, and I respect that. So what we're going to do instead is something a little bit less tricky, or maybe even more tricky than that. Um, I will briefly mention, with your permission, Sheikh, uh, some of the names of, uh, of uh, the volunteers um, that we'd like to honor this evening um, and, with, uh, and thank them for their contribution. Now this is, we have it in two parts, inshallah. One part is for the general volunteers of IHIC, those who are there for, as Sheikh Mansour mentioned, for uh, the wide variety of tasks that keep the center running. And then we have uh, another group of volunteers who not only take part in that but also focus their efforts and their energy on uh, IHIC school on the weekends and uh, doing classes and things throughout the year, not just in the school but in, at other times of year and during some of the big programs and things as well. So to start off with, um, and in no particular order at all, um, uh, Inshallah, you'll indulge me if I mention a little bit about the, about the work that they do. The first few of the people that I'll mention um, have done everything from taking care of kids, cleaning the center, uh, decorating, uh, ensuring that programs are ready, uh, preparing, um, packing food, handing out food, cleaning up afterwards, washing, you, you name it. If you can think of an activity that happens in your house, for example, they've done it here to keep everything operating and moving and whatnot. And again, in no particular order, we have uh, Haji Sandra Zawud, we have uh, Sister Sajida Dirani, Haji Yasmin Alawi, um, Sister Mej Behbahani, Sister Zainab Rezlan, Haji Fadi Zawud, Kazim Lutfi, um, Brother Ali Razagolizad. If you've eaten food at the center in the last few years, almost guaranteed it's been made by our favorite mechanic slash chef uh, Brother Ali, uh, Ali Reza Golizad, um, if you have uh, heard a recitation at the center, I guarantee that Brother Ahmed Rashid has been part of it. Uh, if you have seen anybody sit with me at the desk, definitely one of them has been Brother Kazm Lutfi and the other one has definitely been um, Brother Khalil Mukaddam. Uh, Haji Sarah Hamoud, uh, Sister Sofi Hijazi, who I don't see here this evening, um, Haji Batul Khalifa, uh, for the last few months, I think almost a year now, has been the officer at the desk ensuring that everybody checks in, wears masks when it was necessary, um, that does the right thing by COVID, that is socially distanced, et cetera, et cetera. And she, really, she and her uh, helpers have done a fantastic job of doing that. Um, this person, I cannot even begin to mention the work that he has done and continues to do with complete and full and utter devotion, commitment and passion. Uh, with a salawat, can we honor all of these volunteers, but especially Hajj Fawzi Hijazi. Salawat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Hajj Ali, would you allow me to just make one quick uh, uh, point here? Please, Sheikh, please. I mean, uh, brothers and sisters, when it comes for the sake of God and doing things, I definitely appreciate that you prefer to be anonymous. This is absolutely the, the sign of modesty that you don't want to come to the stage. You don't want even your name to be mentioned. But uh, again, if I may make this comment, doing something for the sake of God, it means you be indifferent. You did it for the sake of God, period. But whether somebody wants to appreciate, wants to give you a gift, not to give you a gift, see, as much as uh, taking it, perhaps it could be problematic, not to taking it is also problematic. Be indifferent, be unconditional. 
what as far as I was concerned, I delivered what I had to deliver, inshallah, for the sake of God. May God accept it. You want to give me something, you don't want to give me something, it doesn't matter to me. I should not refuse even if I was called or, or anything, because to refuse it, you know, when it comes, I'll tell you very frankly, when it comes to the mashayikh, it's a public uh, information, you know that. Yeah, it, it's common many places that sometimes they, they give a gift, put it in an envelope and, and give it. Some, or maybe sometimes I was thinking that don't take it. But if you don't take it, then you make another person look bad who needs this envelope. Take it. You don't need it. You can also give it later on, give it as a charity, do whatever you want to do. Why do you make me feel, look bad that you don't need it? Leave it, be completely indifferent when it comes to appreciation or anything like this. Either way, be indifferent, whether they, they want to mention my name, my name or not, whether they want to give me something or not. I don't care. I don't worry about any of these things. Don't, don't make it condition that I, I come only if I'm paid. Or I come only if I don't mention me. If you don't mention me, if I don't get paid. No, indifferent. Our son, Sheikh, thank you very much. Um, Sheikh, I know that you have another program that you have to attend. So if you need to leave, uh, as much as we won't, don't want that to happen, we understand that you must go. Inshallah, go in four minutes. OK, thank you, Sheikh. Uh, so the last few of the names that I want to mention uh, again, in no particular order, Brother Nizar Shur, who does so much of the maintenance around the center and uh, is always on call and on hand to help um, no matter what. And another one like that is also Brother Hani, Hajhani Miski. Uh, and not only that, he's, uh, he's also taken on the responsibility of opening the center for Juma prayer every week as well. Um, Sister Danielle Beydoun, um, Sister Zahra Be Be Behbahani, uh, Aga Muhammad Davai is a, uh, one of our hidden talent. A lot of the online content, a lot of the, um, uh, all of the website work, et cetera, et cetera, is thanks to the efforts of, um, of Brother Davai and also Sister Fatima Ramadan. Uh, any of the posters that you've seen all probably in the last one year uh, has been prepared by Sister Fatima Ramadan, and I've got to say she's done a fantastic job, and the quality of her stuff is just um, going really, really improving every single day. Uh, Sister Mazia Rizvi also helps with so much stuff around the center and has been since, uh, I remember, probably this high. Um, Sayyid Muhammad Murtada, uh, Sister Malak Alawi, Sister Zainab Alawi, uh, Sister Fatima Alawi, and uh, sister, where is she? I don't see her. Mariam Zarhut. Uh, so that's it for the adults. Now, I did want to take the opportunity to also mention some of the kids' names as well. Not kids so much. Inshallah, one day you will be on the list. Um, not so much the kids, but really some of the youth who've really made such a fantastic effort to help around the center, but also to, um, to take part in the programs as well. Um, Sister Aya Alawi, who we didn't hear from this evening. Uh, Zainab Hamoud, sitting over there, quietly trying to now hide. Uh, Ahmad, Sayyid Ahmad Musawi. Where did he go? He was right here. There he is. There he is. Sayyid Ahmad uh, Musawi. Uh, Brother Karim Jaber, Qasim Jaber. Ahmad Zalhut, wherever he is tonight, and I think I've got an idea. Uh, Manessa Durrani. Zahra Zalhut, who we heard from earlier on this evening. Uh, Mahdi Al Sahli, wherever he is, I think he's at a basketball game actually. He's joined the team, good on him. And um, there are so many of the youth and of the general volunteers, the adult volunteers. If I haven't read out your name or mentioned your, you by, by name this evening, it's not that your efforts are not to be recognized, it's that these few people who we've read out uh, have gone above and beyond, have done exceptional work. Not to say again that you haven't, but inshallah it's something to work towards. For somebody like my, my dear friend over here, uh, Sabil, you've done without anybody knowing, I know how much you help around. And uh, you do a fantastic job. Anytime I ask you to do something, you're there to help. And I really appreciate that. But these prizes are for, uh, like I mentioned, the other volunteers and whatnot. If you don't receive something tonight, Inshallah, it's something to work towards and something that perhaps next time we do a presentation, you might get one. And who knows, you might get all the lucky door prizes tonight too. Uh, with that, thank you very much. Uh, 
Uh, and I'd like to hand over to Haji Abid. He's going to make some comments about um, the teachers who work so hard with the school. And before he does that, um, I believe that Sheikh Mansour, you need to leave. Is that, I think we're getting pretty close to your time. Is... I'm very sorry that, yes, unfortunately, I have to excuse myself because of the Khaira. My very humble thank Jazakumullah Khaira and offer all the teachers and the volunteers. Sincere apologies that I have to thank you so much. Thank you very much, Sheikh. Salaam alaikum. Um, before I ask Haja Abid to talk about the teachers, I do want to recognize the effort of two particular people from the school, uh, Haja Abid himself and also uh, Brother Mohsin. And working very quietly in the background is the school admin staff. Uh, they've, uh, they really have put in so much effort, time, energy into what happens at the school and making sure that the school continues, keeps running in a quality fashion for the benefit and education of the children and the youth of our community. So for all of those volunteers and to ha invite Haj Abid for the, for the school presentation, please recite a salawat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. The beauty of, uh, of an Islamic center like this is that uh, it runs on, on the blood and guts of the volunteers, you know, and the sweat uh, of the volunteers, actually. Uh, so, you know, at, at, at the Imam Hussein Islamic School, you know, we, we've, uh, we've been through uh, the COVID lockdowns. We had classes in, uh, during, the, uh, during the break where, where we had actually had to, we had to do online classes as well. Um, uh, mashallah, the teachers were, were absolutely stellar. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm going to mention of, uh, some of the names and uh, some of the names we have around 34 teachers. Some of them have not have stopped working with us, but inshallah, we, we always invite them back. Some of them have continued working with us, alhamdulillah, and, and are going strong. And we have a lot of new ones as well who have joined us as well. So mashallah, the, the team is, is absolutely incredible. Uh, just to give you an idea, you're looking at at least, you know, every single Saturday of the school term, and sometimes outside of the school term, you know, giving, you know, from, from one o'clock to, to five o'clock at least as a minimum, and then preparing for their classes and stuff like that beforehand as well. So a, a lot of hours being put in. Uh, and like Sheikh said, you know, it's a, what, what little appreciation can we give uh, for these teachers? So uh, we have Fatima Bank, Jinan al Husseini. Jinan was, was actually one of, our, one of our students, is now a teacher. Uh, Sister Batul Saleh, Sister Jinan Jaroudi. Fatima Baidun, who's actually one of the senior students, who is actually also teaching uh, Quran as well, which is uh, which what we love to see. Uh, Sister Hawra Khalifa, Sister Isra Tanana, uh, Sister Batul Khalifa. You probably heard her name earlier. Mashallah, she's one of those who is uh, you know all rounder. Uh, so uh, inshallah, if we can give her salawat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Uh, Brother Zia Muqaddam and his wife. Uh, both of them, you actually travel, you know, at least 45 minutes to come to the center. Some of these teachers actually travel, you know, from really far from Auburn and other areas to, to come to come to our center. Uh, Jumana Fares, Sister Huda Jalad, Sister Fatima Al Zain, one of our senior Quran teachers who have been with us for the past eight years. Uh, Sister Fiza, who is one of the best, um, you know, kindy teachers that we have ever come across, and you know, anyone who has worked with her knows exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, Sister Rebecca Khalil, who has taken, you know, a really good effort as well. Brother Muhammad Naki, you know, absolutely stellar with the youth. Sheikh Muhammad Dehnavi, who has completely transformed our Quran syllabus. Uh, you know, I can talk about each of these guys so much. Uh, Sister Amani, um, uh, Amani Al Husseini, as well, one of our students, previous students. Brother Mohsin, as uh, 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 Ali mentioned. Uh, Brother Ammar Keshwani, Brother Salim Malidina, Hussein Kobay, Brother Hussein Kobaisi, Kumail Virji, Muhammad Reza Saidi, Sister Layal Drubi, Sister Shiva, who is actually here as well today, mashallah, uh, really great effort, Brother Muhammad Degat, uh, Sister Zainab Saleh, one of our parents who used to st come for the parents' classes, is now one of our teachers as well. Uh, Brother Hamza Bibawi, Muhammad Sayyid Ali, Haider Adami, Fatima Maladina, Ayman Keshwani, who are our two uh, absolute uh, backbones, uh, being our admin, and Brother Shahid Iqbal, who is actually looking after the maintenance and, and the rest of the, of the stuff for the school. 
So alhamdulillah, you can see the team is huge. Um, and it's a little appreciation This is that at least that we are, we are able to call out their names and, and give them that little appreciation. Uh, so inshallah, if we can recite the salawat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad, followed by uh, um, Surah Al-Mubarakat Al-Fatiha for all of them and their families and their marhumeen, inshallah. Uh, and inshallah, that God gives them the, the tawfiq to continue to serve and in continue f to all, for all the volunteers. MashaAllah, it's incredible how this center works uh, and, and the people who work. And actually, I should acknowledge also the, the incredible work of Dr. Brother Ali. Uh, he's, he's one of those that Sheikh mentions that he's here till, you know, past midnight. Uh, and, you know, and not only that, even at home when he goes and edits these videos and, I don't know, gets, you know, shops around for all this kind of, all this gadgetry and whatnot. Incredible work. SubhanAllah, absolutely, you know, those who are online are actually witness to this, that the quality of the online service has just skyrocketed. Absolutely. So, and it's all due to the dedication and, and passion that uh, Brother Ali, uh, Ali Sharif shows. So inshallah, if we can give a salawat followed by uh, Surah Al-Mubarakat Al-Fatiha for all everyone. Allahumma <laughs> <laughs>